Hi Aquarius, this is your June monthly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this uh, monthly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And uh, at the end we'll get you an advice for the whole month of June. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in June. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We have uh, the Page of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups. We have the Chariot in the potential outcome. We have Justice, the Hierophant, uh, and the Sun. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, a Cancer, Libra, Taurus. <laughs> Um, Leo or pretty much any zodiac sign. This is a very straightforward and very specific reading to be honest with you. You're going to be going somewhere in June with a group of people and that's where you will meet this person or perhaps one of the people going will be the one. Okay, so <laughs> here's the deal. We, we have two really fast cards in the tarot deck, right? And both of them are on the table. The Eight of Wands, the first card that actually came out before I started clarifying is the first one and the Chariot kind of in the middle right there is the second one. There's definitely a trip coming up. Even if you don't think there is one coming up just yet, June is a long month. <laughs> Perhaps you'll still be going somewhere. Because that's that's how I think all of this starts, right? The Eight of Wands is a card of travel, it's a card of communication, right? And it's also a card of the Cupid's Arrows. Um, and uh, the Three of Pentacles clarifying the Eight of Wands, it's a card of collaboration. And uh, this card could be interpreted in so many different ways. You could be traveling on business, you could be traveling for work, you could be traveling with just a group of friends going somewhere, right? And uh, here comes that Page of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups. And the Page of Cups comes after the Eight of Wands, but to me what this means, this Page of Cups, Cups will play out during that trip, all right? Perhaps you're going to school for a week, right? Perhaps you're thinking of uh, like taking a class that only lasts for a week and uh, you'll get your certificate after that. But again, it could be about anything. It could just be a bunch of people, bunch of friends traveling, going sightseeing, right? I don't know. Great Canyon, for example. I don't know why I just thought of that. But anyway, uh, the Page of Cups um, the, uh, is somebody being super nice to you, flirting with you, you know. And I think all of this is happening during the trip, right? Uh, the Tail of Cups clarifying it. Uh, there's two people in the Tail of Cups, right? <laughs> Whereas in the Page of Cups, there's one person. In the Two of Cups, there's two people with their own cups, right? So that's you and uh, your person. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people see eye to eye and two people feel the same way towards one another. And here comes the chariot. The chariot is the trip back, <laughs> right? The chariot could be a cancer you're dealing with. The chariot, like I said, is one of the fastest cards on the deck, just like the eight of ones. But it kind of feels like... It could be a trip back or perhaps the two of you could go travel again together, just the two of you at some point. Uh, you may separate yourselves from the group of people and go somewhere or if you're going, say you're going on a business trip, right? And uh, once this business trip is over, the two of you could spend a couple of days extra traveling together or something like that, right? But if we want to stay really general, then the chariot is a card of victory, it's a card of success, it's a card of moving forward and not looking back. And that's how the, the two of you will feel about this. The two of you will definitely feel like you can move forward together. And um, every single card in the potential outcome is a major arcana card. Every single one of them. They are amazing major arcana cards by themselves and especially together. Justice, the Hierophant, and the Sun. Justice could be a Libra, the Hierophant could be a Taurus, the Sun could be a Leo. But together this is nothing but marriage. Right? Nothing but serious stuff. Nothing but commitment and uh, actually also being very happy okay justice like I said could be a Libra justice could be an actual place where people get married like a chapel um, justice could be you know the legal system and when people get married they sign a piece of paper and then that piece of paper is submitted with the local government so justice could be a local government the hierophant if it's not a tourist you're dealing with them again commitment marriage it's a very traditional card it's a very spiritual card it's an educational card. 
the sun, if it's not a Leo you're dealing with, then the sun is the happiest card in the deck, right? That's how you will feel. This, with the sun card, people always feel on top of the world, they feel loved, cherished, they feel successful. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is the second commitment to marriage card. The Hierophant is the first one and the Ten of Pentacles is the second one. The Ten of Pentacles is a rock solid type of a deal. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together and all that good stuff. So yeah, um, Aquarius, you got a trip coming up. Yes, you do. <laughs> Even if you are not aware of this yet. Like I said, uh, June is a long month. And that's where it all begins. And uh, the rest is history. Really happy for you, Aquarius. Congratulations. Aquarius, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. Um, we have uh, the Four of Pentacles, by Fight by the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, we have uh, the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, and uh, the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, or pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, you're the Queen of Swords. I think it's a, it's a safe assumption. <laughs> the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck, let's assume that's you. The person you're dealing with is the Emperor. Okay, or it could be you who is embracing the energy of the Emperor. The Emperor could be an Aries. Um, for some of you, this spread will play out as either you or your person being promoted at work. Right, and uh, as a result, they'll be making more money. But uh, I think for most of you, the Emperor is simply a husband or a future husband or a future significant other figure. Okay. Um, and it's very symbolic that uh, the first two cards, the Four of Pentacles, the Five by the Ace of Pentacles, came out the way they did. You see how in the Ace of Pentacles there's a pentacle being offered, right? And uh, the person in the Fourth Pentacles is holding on to a pentacle. So what that means to me is that there is going to be an offer, and the offer is going to be accepted. <laughs> okay? For some of you, again, it's work-related, business-related. Right? For others of you, um, it could be a proposal, right? The Ace of Pentacles sometimes comes through as a proposal or an offer to take your connection to the next level, whatever that level is for you, or something among those lines, right? The Ten of Cups is a card of a family. It's a, it's a very happy card. The Ten of Cups is often referred to as the happily ever after card. Even if you or your person gets promoted, you know, it's still happiness because there is going to be more income, more money coming into the family or into the... Uh, uh, this relationship right if it is a proposal then obviously the ten of cups will play out as uh, you guys being engaged or moving in together whatever that next level is all right cool let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Aquarius um, in June keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent X we have the world uh, clarified by the eight of swords uh, we have uh, the nine of wands clarified by the page of cups we have the King of Pentacles and Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The King of Pentacles right next to the deck, that would be the person coming back. Um, most likely an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. Judgment on the bottom of the deck is a card of uh, some, somebody coming back from the past. And also, you having to make a judgment call. But to be honest with you, I don't see you... I'm not picking up any excitement on your part. As a matter of fact, it feels like, uh, you again with your BS? That type of a vibe. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, see that uh, nine of ones in the middle, which is clarified by the Page of Cups? The Page of Cups is a card of an apology, or this is them reaching out to you, wanting to meet with you. But uh, the nine of ones is your reaction, right? This is a card of somebody who is skeptical, suspicious. This is a card of a wounded warrior, somebody who is still healing. Somebody who puts up a wall between themselves and the person they're dealing with. Again, I'm feeling like you'll be like, seriously, really, again? It's over, right? The world, the first card that came out, is a card of an ending, okay? It is an ending card. So it's going to be up to you however you want to, um, you know, handle this, Aquarius. If you want to go out with them, catch up with them, see what they've been up to, or see what they have to say this time around, go ahead. But uh, if you don't, then you don't. I totally get it. It's like you're not jumping up and down when, you're, uh, when you think of this person, even now. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Aquarius, real quick for the month of June. We have uh, the Page of Swords, Death, the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Six of Wands, and we have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. 
Um, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know how many people this will play out for, but this spread right here is about an Aquarius who is quitting their existing job and starting a new job. Or quitting a job and going traveling. Okay, those are the two scenarios I see. The page of source, the first card that came out is your resignation letter or email or a piece of paper, <laughs> right, with your uh, signature on it. Yeah, that's what it is. It's your, it's a message coming from you letting them know you're leaving. All right, uh, death in the middle, yeah, and this is the card of an ending. You're ending this. But the thing about the death card, it's not something forced upon. I think this is you making a conscious decision to uh, quit this job. Okay, and uh, the rest of the spread is actually a lot of fun. Okay, the eight of wands, the next card over, it could be you going traveling, perhaps you t you're going to take a couple of weeks off between the two jobs and you're going to travel, right? Um, your new job could be, um, you know, tra you could be traveling for this new job or at least a part of it will be travel, right? The eight of wands is a card of travel or um, it's a card of you know, just feeling good about what's going on. The, the Eight of Wands, with the Eight of Wands, nobody ever feels sad. Let's just put it this way, right? And the, the Six of Wands, clarifying it, is a card of victory, success. If you're starting a new job in June, this is how they will welcome you. Perhaps you're really good at what they do and uh, they're going to be happy that you're now on board because things will start moving forward now, okay? The Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a celebration. It could be your goodbye party at your existing job or perhaps they will throw a welcome party to you at the new job or again if you're taking a couple of weeks off between the two jobs you'll just have a good time and things like that you'll just celebrate it, you know kick it and things like that I hope that makes sense alright cool here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you Aquarius for the whole month of June uh, we have the seven of swords by the tower we have uh, the queen of cups the nine of ones and the star on the bottom of the deck. The advice for you is to beware of this Queen of Cups. I don't know what your, uh, what the nature of your connection with this person is, but uh, I would be careful with them, right? They're definitely up to no good. This person could be simply a thief, right? Literally a thief. The Seven of Swords to the left from the Queen of Cups, one of the ways to interpret that is a card of a thief, somebody who steals, okay? Um, but at the same time, the Seven of Swords is a card of a deception. It could be more, or so, it could be on a grander scale than just them uh, trying to pick your pocket or something like that. Um, the Tower clarifying the Seven of Swords, yeah, it's a card of a devastation. It's a card of uh, something that falls through, falls apart. It could be a card of something that's unexpected. Perhaps you don't see this coming. This person could stab you in the back. Not literally, no. <laughs> right? Um, uh, the the uh, the star card on the bottom of the deck. That's you. That's your major arcana card. All right. And it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. And the nine of wands right next to the deck is a card of a wounded warrior. So that's how you will feel once this takes place. But hopefully this can be avoided. Now that you're aware of it, it can be avoided. Again, the queen of cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or perhaps they pretend to be super nice. All. Uh, you know, very emotional, often wears heart in their sleeve, that type of a person. But they're 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 wearing a mask. Okay, so beware of the Queen of Cups. <laughs> Alright, Aquarius, so that's what I have for you for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing month.